Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall analyze the answers for GPSTR 2022 model question paper of mathematics and science subject. In previous video, we have already discussed few questions. Please check the description box for the previous uh, solution. In this video, we will continue that. Okay. An atom of an element has the electronic configuration 282. Two. It belongs to dash means belongs to which group? The options are given in terms of groups. Fourth group, sixth group, third group, second group. The answer is it belongs to second group and third period it belongs to. So you can put the tick mark. You can check out with the um, periodic table. If you refer, you will understand this concepts. For more clarification, we will check out this. Uh, we'll take one class based on this periodic table in the next following classes. Okay, next question. Covalency of aluminum in AlCl3. So here we can write this Al atom here and Cl3 like this. The valence is 1, 2, 3. Okay, so answer is 3. The major theme in the theoretical framework of Brunner. So these pedagogical questions I try to answer. So if you have any issues, uh, please comment in the comment section. So I hope so. This pedagogical answers are 99% true. If it is of math and physics with proof, uh, we can just say 100% it is correct. So this is based on our knowledge and some reference also of course we have taken. So check out with this. If any changes, let me know. The major theme in the theoretical framework of Brunner is Brunner says about constructivism and um, he believes in that learner learns based on the current and past knowledge okay next question an activity under control situation in a classroom communication is termed as so here in this type of multiple choice questions if you know the correct answer you can choose the answer then and there but there is also one more method that is elimination method we can eliminate the wrong answer and then you can choose the right one so in such case if you take in an activity under controlled situation in a classroom communication so if it is a controlled situation see acting will not come under the controlled situation isn't it acting it depends on the capacity or the ability of the person or his talent even playing outside the classroom sometimes in the indoor games also but it doesn't come under control situation even experiment experimental value may vary but in case of demonstration which is already learned and that the experiment may be conducted and it is just demonstrating in the classroom so this is the right answer and moving to the next one the purpose of providing multilingual education MLE in facilitating learner is so this is newly added up in the NEP 2000 this upcoming years they may adopt this in the classes so um, the main purpose is here also we can apply for even the elimination method so let us check out bringing to one or more additional languages just keep it aside just we'll check it out to ignore facilitating through the mother tongue so this may not be the answer because they are neglecting the mother tongue here that is not the answer effective learning of la all languages in the state so we may not learn all the languages in the particular state effective learning to emphasize on translating English to la local language so this also may not be the answer so the right answer must be bringing to one or more additional languages so that's why three languages option they are bringing up in the NEP on moving to the next question the hormone that triggers the fall of mature leaves and fruits from plant is due to the answer is abscisic acid okay so this trigger the abscission of the plant 
um, let us check the other answers also what is auxin this hormone helps the plant to grow it grow uh, plant regulator it acts as then this gibberellin that helps for cell division elongation even seed germination also it helps cytokinin it prevents yellowing of the plant means it also always supply the chlorophyll chlorophyll is the main um, which is important for the green of the plant so this cytokinin helps to prevent the yellowing of the leaves so right answer for this is abscisic acid and moving to the next one protozoa parasite that is responsible for kala azar is the answer is leishmania so um, that is a kind of uh, you can just say the sand bite sand fly bite that affects liver bone marrow and also spleen this kind so that is a protozoa parasite type of this and other others also will just check it out ascaris that is a kind of round worm in human and uh, tripo trypnosoma unicellular protozoa okay about bacteria we all know that is a microscopic single cell the organism that affects both from outside and inside inside of the object okay so for this 19th question the answer is leishmania okay on moving to the next question 20th one the movement of sunflower in accordance with the path of the sun due to um if you have observed the sun in the morning till noon it will face towards the direction of the sun that is east evenings they will slightly bend towards the west due to the movement of the sun actually sun is not moving earth is moving but in accordance with the um, relative motion when we say when we watch from here it seems like that so when the sun is at west sun flowers also face towards the moment um, sun it's because of uh, the it is named as uh, phototropism photo stands for light so it's because of the stimuli from the light sun flower face the sun okay that term is called as phototropism let's also check out with the other options geotropism geo means earth so this is the response of the roots especially the plant the root part responds to the force of gravity so they grow downward due to gravity that is what geotropism chemotropism here only it's related to chemical okay this is the response of the uh, plant uh, due to the chemical stimuli from outside next hydrotropism hydro means water so it's this is the response of the plant for water either in it, either towards or away from the moisture it means uh, plants require sufficient amount of water if it is more also it's difficult for them to survive if it is less also difficult for them so the response either positive or negative response that is what hydrotropism okay we shall move to the next one okay we shall move to the next one sheila has observed leaf and stem like structures in the given specimen the specimen she has observed belong to the group so this is a specimen observed by a girl sheila so um, what group belong it just belong to this belongs to group funaria this is sansa they are like long stems and a small head like structure on the top like this okay let's also check out the other answers fern ferns like leaves like sharp 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 edges like this like show plants we see you know like that they are ferns um spirogy spirogyra that is about a, like filament like this they will have the structure like helical also we call them helical structure then agaricus they are like mushroom type agaricus okay so the answer for 21 is funaria next 
the organism which consists of open circulatory system jointed legs bilaterally symmetrical belong to easy answer only arthropoda this group okay arthropoda we can give example there are many uh, species or uh, uh, many organisms butterfly you can take okay butterfly uh, mosquitoes crab ants all this you can check their body they are uh, symmetrical like this if you cut them into two halves butterfly also and they have legs and bilaterally symmetrical they have open circulatory system okay they are say having segmented bodies body okay next um, let's all check out other answers anelida um, these are um, like worms like earthworm leeches they belongs to this group nematoda they are example the round worms are the example of this and echinodermata um uh, examples are starfish um sea cucumber all these are okay sea urchins all these are example of echinodermata okay 23rd question the stages involved in deductive approach to problem solving towards learning science actually when they give like this pedagogical answer all the answers seems like the same you, you can check out you see here um demonstration applying understanding problems so, like this all the points are covered here but I, according to me i think this answer is the correct one deductive approach it means moving from general to specific okay so here we are sensing the problem analyzing the situation organizing the information framing a possible solution estimation verification so um, demonstrating i think it won't come understanding the problem collecting information reviewing drawing inference and verification this also is look like the same like first one okay then purpose planning executing evaluation recording so all the answers are having a kind of hierarchy they follow a particular uh, line but i hope so this is the answer if you have any other ideas you can just please comment in the comment box 24th one a learning theory enumerates the child makes a number of attempts for a particular task and find his or her attempts rewarding was developed by thorndike mm -hmm. uh, thorndike uh, like uh, he focused on this theory and he gave the explanation for this theory like when a task is given for a particular person they perform based on the rewards okay so the they makes number of enumerate uh, number of attempts and then if the if it is rewarded again they are come to know they analyze okay yes it is rewarded so i have to do this things like that with cat he perform this experiment so to in order to understand this bruner skinners and all refer psychology topics is nice and you can point list out the important points theories okay we'll continue the remaining answers or the solution for this paper in the next video thank you for watching this video and if you like this video give a like thumbs up press the like button so that we will come to know really whether you like this video so it will encourage us to post more videos related to this dpstr exams thank you for your support and check the description box for our other videos related to maths and physics thank you